Hiya folks, just done a few clips on, well, I've saved some pepper plants. I've got a volunteer tomato what I'm going to bring into a grow room. And uh, I just did a cl couple of clips on my ginger and my uh, lemongrass. Basically, I'm taking the stuff that I've got outside, inside. And uh, people come stop and stare when you're talking to yourself. <laughs> bring them inside. Uh, and some of the stuff I'm bringing inside, peppers and tomatoes, as I've just said. Uh, idea for where where I was growing my tomatoes last year. Uh, I'm going to put some stuff around that, and you'll probably see that. Well, you'll see that in another clip. And an interesting clone, and a little bit of an infestation of mayfly larvae. But what I'll do, I'll put some time points in it, and you can sort of flick through and have a look, and then uh, you won't have to put up with all blah blah blah. And uh, anyway, enjoy. It's nice to be nice, and uh, I'll see you later. Squash I grew last year. Now that's over a year old now, it's November 1st now, so that's over a year old. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it open. Now, look, nice tomatoes, tasteless tomatoes, and peppers, and peppers as well. But Dylan, my cameraman, is going to hold the camera while I cut this squash. I can find a knife. Now, what I'll do, I'll cut it open and see what we've got. I'll speak to David at Work with Nature. Last, well, yesterday I might have commented on his squash stuff and I said this is a year old and it doesn't look too bad. He actually said try saving seeds off it. We'll use this tonight as it goes, but I'll just cut it open and see what it's like mm -hmm. inside. Right. Mm. Is yeah. it good? Yeah, it's tasty. Tasty like a pea. I mean, that looks perfectly alright to me. You've got your finger in the way the camera did, not you? Oh. Well, that looks perfectly alright to me. I can see if it's. And although it's an F1, I probably will save some of the seeds and try it. We'll just see what we get. My fingers shoot. Yeah, but don't touch it. Don't put your fingers on it all over, dear, darling. I can see my finger. Yeah, I can see your finger. Don't lick your finger and put it on the veg. Alright? <laughs> so, folks, the end of my tomatoes. What I'm going to do with this area here is. Uh, I'm obviously going to cut these down now. I'll probably do that and speed it up. But uh, I'm going to cut this down. I've got some some black fabric, which I might put on back here. I think I think I will. And then what I'll do is from that spar there where the strings are all held up, I'm going to put plastic all the way around to use it. Hopefully to well keep some <laughs> plants warm. That don't like the cold weather basically might even be used early in spring as a little greenhouse for starting I've obviously got this area as well where I can close it down and the coffee plants suffering now look so I've got to get that in and I'm going to be repotting some stuff these peppers into bigger pots and bringing them in I'm going to bare root them and give them a good wash down make sure I don't bring any slugs in like I did last year empty these pots and Recycle some soil. Pineapple. <laughs> and I'll show you a couple of other uh, peppers that I'm going to try and bring in. Because these are, you know, even that tomato's look, it's easy, still even trying to flower. And there's another tomato in garden, what I've found, which I'll show you in a sec, that I'm going to dig it up. It comes as a volunteer. Bare root it and pot it and try and get some fruit over winter just for fun in the greenhouse. Interesting to see where roots went to Oyers. It's quite a good root system, quite filled it up. And just looking, There's some worms in here, quite a few. There's a good sign. And I've just emptied this out, look. And look how many mayfly fly larvae there are in it. So, definitely be saving that. We just didn't last bus to Lots of them. A 
will just come out of that one pot. There's about 30, 30 I should imagine there, maybe more. Yeah, wonderful. Dispose of them later. Soup, anyone? So that we're final head count. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a quick count up, aren't we? See how many there is. Yeah, there's one, soil. two, three, four, five, six, Very six, eight, 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 nine, eight, ten. I'll put it through a five millimetre rather than a okay. centimetre that I was going to do just to make sure I got them all just thought I'd show you this, this is where I put all that uh, well some of that bark chip is what I bought and bear in mind that this is a very year old because it's been in shop and uh, it's broke down quite well but look at that for worm castings I mean worms have come up through it and pulled it down I should imagine these are the world's, world's biggest worm castings but it's nice to see, at least we know that they're, they're in there and doing the job I forgot to put name up of these last week, it's very simple, it's red chicory, so we obviously a bit of that over winter, that one's doing quite well, and this here is the tomato I'm going to dig up and bring in, it's actually got some buds on it now, it's actually trying to bud, but weather's really sort of dropped down now, I went away last weekend in Madrid so I was seeing a friend who was very sick, and uh, I didn't get much done obviously, I weren't here. And that potato volunteer there, I'm going to leave that in. You can see there's a few tomatoes. That's the reason I put this mulch down, because this was my compost from the compost bin. And it's full with volunteers. There's some uh, rocket as well somewhere in there. Which I can still harvest over winter. This bit I'm going to put oops over. And uh, see how it goes. That's a tomato hey, one. Hey, it's a long one. Got some help. A small one. I'm going to plant it deep. And, uh, bring that in. Got rid of rock pest, put some more fresh have compost a small in. One in here. Have you put a small worm in? Yeah. Oh good. This is my daughter Mia. Mm -hmm. She just sometimes speaks German to me and sometimes speaks English. Uh, but now she's been watching Barbie, she speaks English with an American accent or a Barbie accent, don't you? Can you say worm? Worm. Worm. I just put some sand in here and some uh, miculite, some fresh compost, some old stuff what I've saved and say put it through a five millimetre after all them uh, handlings of cut bugs. Uh, I didn't know what the handling is. Yeah, and that's that one. This is one of Peppers, so mm -hmm. bear up to it, bring this into the grow room downstairs and I'm just going to chop it back quite severely as it goes. Hopefully it'll survive. Did all right last year. I'm gonna put that in compost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're my pruning shears. Whoa! Whoa! I can snip it too when on in there. Been pretty brutal with this. And get a rinse off. And this one's out of garden. I'm gonna bring this one in. But. It's still flowering, and you can see that. Still quite a few flowers on it in buds. It's a fresh mix, so <laughs> no contamination. And uh, I'll pop this up as well. And here's the other one. Just cut this off, rang it upside down. Like Dale did this morning, I was just looking at his video. Rang this up, and hopefully these will ripen up. There's a couple more on there, which will plant. I'll dug it up, probably a bit brutal, like I said. Hopefully it'll survive. I'll put it right back there. See where we go. Gardening with puppies. Paula <laughs> was asking me about um, some of ginger I grow in pots and some lemongrass. This is ginger. It's looking a bit worse for wear now. It's November 1st, so I'm going to give it a bit of an air cut and it'll be coming down into the grow room, into the cellar. And this is my lemongrass which again is looking a bit worse for wear. I've got some more in the cellar, it's not as big as this, which I've just actually repotted it into a slightly bigger pot, what I grew from seeds, but this again will be coming down into the cellar. So I'm gonna make sure there's no slugs on pots and stuff. I might even be tempted to put a few slug pellets around, the nasty ones, but I'm afraid I don't want slugs all over inside. So I'll show you other ones in the cellar in a sec. This is ginger that's in the cellar 
Now this has been its other all time. Uh, I might try and harvest some next year. I'll bring the other one in as well. You can see this is lovely and green. But these have been just watered off out of worm bin. So everything else is quite green. I'm having a bit of a problem with this uh, kiwi. I don't know that I'll let it dry out too much. But I don't think I'll be keeping them anyway. I think they're going to be rouse. I've got to go out. Um, the other pineapple. This is the other lemongrass. As I say, I've just potted this up again into a bigger pot, so it's a bit, it's a bit wilty at the moment. I might just trim tops off it. I'm sure it'll come back. And that is the lychee. Now, I don't know what problem I've got with these lychees, but they just seem to put leaves out. They brown off and then they die out. So I think that might have to go to the old uh, compost sky, compost bin in the sky as well, because I need to make some space. I really need to sort lights out now. I've got some wire, put some wiring up, and uh, I'm gonna give this a paint. Take these, do these doors off over here. I've got my other set, my other set of strip lights there on, under there, and get these shelves out. Doors are coming off. Monitors going in the attic, I think, or it might just have to go to the uh, recycling. But I really need to get this sorted out now. Now I've just got to potted all stuff up to come in here. Um, I've got some more light fittings to wire up, I've got some more bulbs and fittings, so hopefully it could be a successful uh, winter.